ATMs that recycle cell phones and give you cash, they're relatively new on the scene in Las Vegas. And as 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears exposed, thieves may be profiting from stolen phones. And all new this morning, a local case that has one family wondering whether justice will be served. When we first reported on Eco ATMs earlier this month, the company said thefts were extremely rare. Overall, when you look at any stolen device, it's less than a fraction of 0.001%. But within minutes of posting our story on Facebook, Michaela Harper's family posted this comment saying it happened to them. Phone stolen, then sold for cash at an Eco ATM. It's that easy to take a phone and sell it and get some money for it and be done. The woman who stole Michaela's phone seemed to know how to avoid the security features designed to deter thieves. The kiosk scans your ID and thumbprint and takes your picture from multiple angles. The lady who had stole it had asked one of her friends to sell it through the kiosk. It sounds like you think she'll probably do it again. I think that she probably does it all the time. I think that, that it's, it's known that this kiosk, you can sell phones, get money, and Pretty much, it doesn't matter whether it's taking a fingerprint or photos. So far, that hasn't mattered for the woman who stole Michaela's brand new iPhone X Max. It was an expensive phone. I still owed $950 at least on it. The thief got $125 for it. Cash on a stolen phone and basically walked away scot-free from that. Scot-free because police confirm they know who she is but have not arrested her. When you're paying $1,000 for a phone, it's a big theft. So why is it so hard to hold criminals accountable? Coming up tonight at 11, we look at why police and consumers say the frequency of crime at eco ATMs might be more than the company wants to admit. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.